Hello guys and welcome back to automation. Today we are going to learn something more about experts, you know, a bit complicated approach. So let me give you a problem statement. Okay, what if you have a property of an element but the property is not constant? A part of the property is constant and a part of it is not constant. Okay, so how do we go about that? So what we can do is we can find the property using XPath by specifying that constant unique property. Okay, so that can be done by using the function called contains. So contains will have two parts to it okay, or two attributes to it. The first attribute would be, you know, the element from the page okay and the second would be the element which we need to find or the part of the element we need to find hope you can see okay so the contains would have two parts the first part would be the element from the page and the second would be the part of the element which we need to find so let me give an example let's say we want to click on this button here okay let me spy on that okay uh, I guess I've already done it last time okay so if I see the property it has got the inner text selenium automation hybrid framework okay so how do I add a X path of this double slash okay it's an anchor so a it has got two it has got in the inner text so text okay uh, your curve braces is equal to in single quotes your inner text now I don't want to find by using the entire inner text I want to maybe find out by selenium automation is it unique here yeah by selenium automation because I know that it can be hybrid framework maybe on my next page it is maybe a data driven framework can be anything but I know the selenium automation part is going to be constant so how do I do that so what do I do is double slash a and in my square braces I give contains okay and as I said the contains will have okay two way uh, two parts to it okay the first part would be the element from the web page here that is our text right cause we are reading the text from the web page so this is our first part text our second part would be the part of the element we need to find so this is the entire thing which we need to find which is present in text a part would be maybe selenium automation is that it so in single quotes you can just give sorry let me copy this in single quotes you can give this let us try it out so paste it here okay is being found okay you can apply the same logic maybe to something else let's say this drop down so this drop down has got a select tag with ID continents right so let me write this X path here for you so this is uh, select okay with the attribute id is equal to continents okay am i right c o n t i n e n t s id let me just try this out first okay but what if that uh, on this page is continents on the next page is continent so I cannot give a uh, continents always it can but I know that if I give continent okay it's going to be constant so how do I do that what do I do is double slash the select tag okay and in my square braces I give contains okay the first part is again the element which we need to find from the page correct so the 
element which we need to find from a page is at the rate id okay and the the part of the element which we need to find okay the id i don't want continents as such it can be continent as well so i just give a part of it <coughs> i give continent as you can see the s is missing let me try this okay it's still being found one of one okay so this is how we use the contains function in our xpath okay if you have any other questions regarding xpath you know you can just uh, comment them below i'll be happy to help you okay now the last thing is how to use xpath in our selenium code so it's simple you can, you can just use driver dot find element by and just choose you know x path okay and in here in double quotes you can just paste in your x path as long as it is unique you can perform click operation or something else on it okay if any other questions if any doubt just comment below i'll be happy to help you thank you